Yo, what's up? It's Miguel Hoy, and guess what? We made it through the hard part of this week, and today we're gonna go ahead and take the impact out. We're going to relax. We're gonna give our bodies a massage and a nice deep stretch throughout every part of our bodies. All right, so we can be prepared to bring it forth tomorrow and the next week coming up. But don't even think about that right now. The only equipment you're going to need today is your own body and your mat, and I want you to be present in every single moment. We're gonna kick this off with cat cow, so make it down to the floor. We're coming to all fours, and we're going to go ahead and inhale up. Exhale down. Bring that spine up. Take your time. If you can't, just get lost in a moment. Close your eyes, feel through your body. Tuck that pelvis down. Bring those hips up. Belly down. Claw those fingers into the floor and relax. Nice. From here, we're gonna go for a modified sun flow. So bring it all the way back into child's pose. We're gonna inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, exhale back, and flow with your breath. Just warming up through that body. I know you're still feeling some soreness there. But when you get that heat building, your body will be humming and thanking you by the end of this deep stretch. Nice. From here, we're going to go for world's best stretch on the left. So bring the left leg forward. Right knees back. We're going to inhale up. Good. Bring the left arm up, hips forward on the right. Don't overdo it. Don't overstretch. Just relax. Don't force it. Breathe into the pose and go on gradually with each breath. Bring those fingertips back, looking up at my thumb or your thumb. Shoulders back, twist it through that torso. Shredding through the wrist that's on the floor. Hips forward more. Just hold. We got time. If you ever need to back out of any pose, go ahead and do so. This is your stretch. Then we're going right to the other side. So, right leg is up. Inhale up. Palm straight up. Chest back. Same thing here. Just really making sure you're not bending side to side with those hips. We're coming forward. We're really pushing that chest up with the shoulder blades coming back. Nice, but that stretch all throughout the body. It's called World's Best Stretch for a reason. It's one of my favorites. Breathe nice and slowly into the movement. Almost there. Bring it down. Nice. From here, we're going to go right into child's pose. So knees are wide. Bring those hips back. And we're going to add a twist here. So really reach those fingers forward, set those sitting bones back. And we're just going to peek under the armpit on our left. Bend under our right. Hips still coming back. Nice and slow. So that on our shoulders, through our lats, obliques, core, back, hips. Good control. My body's already starting to hum. Nice, from here, we're gonna go for a side stretch on the left and then the right halfway through, we're gonna switch. So left hand over, right arm follows, hips are back and towards the left. I'm sorry, back and towards the right as the hands go towards the left. Settle into that pose. Sometimes I like to wiggle a little bit or bounce into it. All right, walk those hands over towards the right, hips back towards the left. We've been kicking butt this week, and now we get to relax and take care of butt. Excellent. All right, from here, we're going front to back wrist stretch. 
So reverse those palms halfway through. We're going to flip that wrist. Always give this cue, but never forcing. All right, so if your palms are coming up a little bit, don't force or jam it down. Let it come down gradually with time. And you can reverse back more if you want to. All right, let's go ahead and reverse the palms. And now I like to lean back. I call this the gorilla pose. Just lean back with those hips a little bit, really getting into the wrist there. We're going to wrist out. Awesome. All right, now we're going to go for kneeling shoulder twists. So palms are wide. We're going to roll the left shoulder into the mat. Turn that palm up. And then going over towards the other side. And twisting. Gonna take some core control here. Nice and even. Shake it out. And we can go for a seated spinal twist. So I'm gonna have the left leg up, right arm is gonna either grab on your knee and look back or hook your elbow into your knee. And we're gonna look over our left shoulder towards the back of the room, inhale. Breathe out. Don't force it. I know the ego just says, I, want, I need to be looking all the way at the back of the room or whatever you may be thinking. Don't force yourself. We will get there in time. We have time. Breathe it out. Open up through your body. It's counterintuitive with the force. You want to show your body, hey, look, we can go to this range safely. We're going to go to the other side. So now I'm going to take the right knee over the left, hook with your hand or with your elbow. Yeah. And when you look over, fill into it. All right, so I'm tight on this side. This is where I'm going to hang out until I can go deeper. Raise your hand if you're getting a good stretch. Nice isometric hold. Release. All right. On to our backs. Let's pull in our knee on the left. Reach around. Pull it in. Halfway through, we're going to go a little bit wider. All right. So. If you want to, you can wiggle the toes a little bit. That feels good. Uh, little plantar and dorsal flexion right there. Now let's pull around the ribs and in. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can just grab with that hand and pull open with the hips and up towards your armpit and around those ribs. Not forcing. Just going deep. Awesome. Now we're going to go for an iso supine twist. Take that left knee, bring it over towards the right. We're going to look over towards the left. And let's go ahead and add some winding, all right? Through the arms, bring it up and over. You can just hold it there if you like. I love how it feels opening it up here. Oh, I need this. Good, bring everything to the center. And we're gonna do those three. Oh, actually, we're gonna do breast hold. <laughs> Sorry, I got mixed up there. All right, so reach down, grab that knee on the, I'm tangled up, I think that's the right knee. Yeah, knee, left knee is over, chest is up. We're gonna try to bring the right shoulder towards the left. I think I nailed that. It's like trying to untangle the cord, knowing where my life right and left is while I'm in this position. 
So relax, no forcing. Breathe, settle into the pose. Don't slingshot that foot, release. Now, where was I, all right? We're gonna go ahead and pull the knees in on the right. Yeah, little toe wiggles, rotations, ankles, out of direction. Oh, I got some pops on this side. Got to have my pops. Now we're going to wrap it around. I didn't set my secondary beep off, but I got 20 seconds in my head. You can either pour it over both hands, or if you can, just open up. Get those hips. Nice. Bring that right knee up and over towards the left. Left hand's on top of the right knee. Look over towards your right. Settle it in. And if you want to extend a little bit more, let's go ahead and wind through those arms. Up and over. Let's go. How's your body feeling? Feel through your body, always staying present here. All right, we're gonna hold it here and go right into Bretzel. So we're gonna reach down, grab onto that left foot with the right hand, and we're gonna bring the, the left shoulder over towards the right. Ooh, tight side. Just take notice of that if you're tight like being on one side more than the other. And, um, one thing I like to do is kind of look through my day and see, hey, look, what are my movement patterns that's reinforcing the tightness on one side more than the other? It could be sitting at my desk. It could be, could be the way I walk. It could be um, even sitting down with a, a wallet on one side of my pocket and just shifting my hips one way. So just be conscious of how you move your body outside of exercise and just in your daily life. All right, from here, after that speech, we're going to foot pedals. Well, I like to call it slip and slide feet, all right, because my feet always slide here. We're just going to bring one heel back, one knee forward, switch it up. Just good doing an assessment on our bodies. That way, look, before we get too far into um, poor posture or incorrect form, we can acknowledge it, we can reassess, reevaluate, make changes. Bring it down. All right. From here, we're going for quad lizards. So left leg forward, bring your chest up. If you need to roll up your mat behind you, give you extra padding, do so. Keep it in lizard, or we're going to get the quads and psoas in there just a little bit more by reaching back and leaning forward. Chest is up. Oh, we're getting deep. There we go. Fight for that balance through the hips. Don't load the lower back too much. Lock in that core. There we go. Release without slingshotting that foot. And we go for rocking ham raises. So, left leg still in front. We're going to bring it forward. Extend the hips back, flex that foot, hands going to inside and up. Nice and accessible way to stretch through the hamstrings, back, hips, shoulders. Go at a pace that works for you. I'm settling where I feel it and then bringing it forward more. Breathing low with the movement, and forward. Awesome. We're going malasana, all right? Happy baby is accessible if you can't uh, make it into malasana. So feet are going to just be um, about the width of the mat to where my heels are right at the edge of my mat on both sides. Chest is up. I like to go for prayer hands. 
just settle down into this as we open up through those hips. Keep your chest up. Try not to hunch. Try not to put all the tension in your face. We're going for relaxing. We're a little bit wider. Ooh, that hit the spot. Elbows against those knees. Hold it in there. We're almost there. If your legs are shaking, just tap the ground. Do whatever you can. Come out of it safely. Good. Quad lizards on the right. Right leg is forward. Padding in the back if you need it. Chest is up. Safely reach back. Grab a hold. Screw out those hips. And let's bring it forward a little bit. Ooh, there's that tightness. Remember, relax. We're relaxing through the hips. All right here in the psoas. Deep in those inner thighs. Or really, inner hip. Leaning forward with that knee. Knee can go over toes if you can go that far. And release. All right. Still in kneeling position. Inhale up to kneeling sun salutation. Then bring it back into a hamstring rock. Breathe through the movement. And down. Good. From here, we're going to go to frog pose. Knees are wide. Feet are 90 90. Bring those hips back. Ooh. If you want to, you can wind through the hips or rock up and down. I'm just going to sit here today. All right. Pushing those hips back and breathing it out. Once you can bring your head down. Ooh. There we go. Hip opener for real. Roll forward, and we're going to pigeon pose with our left leg. So, bring the left leg forward. <clears throat> Hands in front. You can stay right here if this is you, all right? Or you can try to walk it down to your elbows. Go all the way down. Like so, the next step, I'm not there yet. You can reach your arms forward and bring your head down to the mat. If your um, heel starts to come in, that can happen naturally. One way to improve on that is to do these elevated on a bench or somewhere that's comfortable but elevated. If you want to go for more of a 90 degree um, leg and progress. Awesome. We're going to hold it here. I'm going to go left to right stretch. So we're going to start going towards the right first. Move my water bottle out the way. Uh, and just stretch halfway through. We're going to switch to the other direction and go towards the left. It's going to be a little bit more tense there. Excellent stretch for our sides. Walk it over towards the left. It's time for those glutes. Let's go. And a brilliant side stretch as well. Settle into it. Bring it up. We're going to hook our right knee into our left. Left hand is back. We're going to bring the right arm up and back as we bump those hips up. For a half thing. If it's inaccessible, just go to, the, um, to your limit. You don't have to be touching the floor from here, right? Just do the best you can. Hold in there. Hang in there. Breathe it out. Nice, nice, nice. Come down nice and safely. Let's do foot pedals. 
So bring it down. We're going to shift left and right. All right, those hills are coming back a little bit more now. I'm doing my moonwalk, though, for the sliding. The only time I can do the moonwalk is when I'm doing this move. If I try to do it <laughs> standing up, it'll look like a not-so-fluid running man. Might be revealing my age with these quotes, these references. Breathe it out. Isometric holding that core is underrated. Nice. Pigeon on the right. Come into it. Settle. We're not here to force. If you try to force the movement, your body is very good at knowing when to back down or when to, you know, give up or even helping you from, from hurting yourself. And that's why we have resistance in the first place, so that we don't overextend. So if you relax, you're telling your body it's cool to go into this position. All right, we're going to start with our hands over towards the left, holding this position still. Side stretch. Halfway through, we're going to switch it up. Walking those hands over towards the other side. <clears throat> Settling into it. Trying to bring those hips down on the right. Nice. Feels amazing. Bring it up. Let's hook the left knee into the right. We're going to bring the right arm back. Left arm up, left hips up. Bump, bump, bump. Reach back. Great stretch through our thoracic spine. Our hips as we bump forward, squeezing through those glutes. Great stretch through our lats, through our shoulder on our left, which is holding the ground. A little wrist stretch. We're doing a whole lot here. So if it feels like a whole lot, that makes sense. Almost there, hang in there. Bring it down. Awesome, from here. Let's start winding down, we're gonna go into a glute stretch. So on your back, left heel on top of the right knee, exhale through, clasp those fingers, pull the right knee in, push the left knee forward. Try not to have your butt all the way in the sky. Try to get your lower back down towards your mat. Of course, not forcing it, just breathing. Both feet are flexed. Left knee's going forward, right knee's coming in, and try to bring your shoulders down to your mat as well. Fingers slipping. And down. All right, let's go right to the other side. Reaching through, clasp those fingers, pull it in. Again, feet are flex, left knee's in, right knee's being pushed forward. Full spine is on that mat, so I want those shoulders coming back. I want the lower spine coming down towards the floor. You're not all rounded up through that back. And of course, we're working the piriformis, the glutes as well. We had a double leg week, so I definitely need this stretch. Awesome. Arms out to the side. We're going for a supine stretch with both legs. So both knees are to go over towards your right as we stretch through our left side. Right hands on top of the left knee. We're going to look over towards our left. Relax. Bring um, your obliques or your side down. Try not to pinch up on your right. Look over. Fingertips are touching the floor. Get the 90 degree on those knees. Feet are flexed. Mm. 
but no for a nice little neck stretch as well. Let's go to the other side. Four pins down, inhale up. Exhale over. Looking over towards the right. Right hands on top of that left knee as we stretch through our right here. If your feet aren't stacked directly on, your knees aren't stacked directly on top of each other, that's perfectly fine. Work with what you got, and we will improve in time. How's your body feeling? Keeping a controlled breath. Four pans down. Inhale those knees up. We're going to go for happy baby. So reach through. So easy a baby can do it. I'm just joking. Look, easy is a word that's relative, right? If you can, rock it out. Otherwise, pull those legs apart. Open up through the hips as we pull those knees down. Getting even deeper there, all right? And then we're rocking, giving ourselves a nice massage through our back and spine. Feels so good. Controlling with our core as we rock left and right. Okay, so pull those knees in, and we're going to release the right knee. So right leg comes out. Pull that left knee in straight. Halfway through, we're going to switch legs. Just be compressing through the spine. Bring the other knee in. So right knee's in, releasing the left. Final stretch, and then we're going right into Shavasana. All right, we're going to hold that for three minutes. And the objective is going to be to relax. So pull both knees in now and release both into Shavasana. So legs about as wide as your mat, palms are up, relax those shoulders down, let the feet fall to the side, and we're really trying to melt our lower back into our mat. As we do that, you wanna release any tension that's in your body. So that's even in your face. Make sure your eyebrows aren't all squished up and questioning everything. Let your jaw fall. Your chin's open, or your, really your jaw's open. You just feel the air blow off your feet, rolling up to your knees, your quads, your hips, all the way up through your fingertips to your head. And relax. So I'm going to check out, probably catch a little nap, and I'll see you at the fist bump.
All right, bring it in or take that nap, give me that fist bump, and boom, fist bump, way to rock it. I almost fell asleep for real because when I was down, I heard little sirens going off at the golf course, and I'm hearing the storm coming in. But shout out to you all for making it through the first week of Hoy Pro Champion. We're going to continue to bring it next week. We got double arms. This week, we had double legs, and we're absolutely going to have some fun ways and variations for you all to explore through your bodies as we all get stronger and be the champions that we are. Let me know down below in the comment section how you rocked it this week your feedback on this week so we continue to improve and push together. And I'm so proud of you all for making it through that first week. So until we come back again and crush tomorrow, first of all, wait, healthy food in our stomach, healthy things in our relationships, and healthy things in our minds. Sorry, the storm kind of has my brain a little wax. And until the next time we come back and crush it again, it's Millionaire Hoy. Take care and peace out.